<laughs> Good. Hey Ruben. Yeah. Really great seeing you here, great seeing here, here in here, Armenia yes, in yeah. Yerevan. The Welcome, Veronica. It's your first time, I know. It is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It, uh, and it has been quite an experience. So we wanted to, um, yeah, talk a little bit about Grandchen. You have been involved with the project. You have known the mm. project for a while. What do you think, uh, how did it develop from your perspective? Well, I think, yeah, well, I, I have to look at it from Armenian standpoint, right? Because Grandjean was, uh, you know, Boris and uh, Edik starting all of that so many years ago. So I think in uh, from Armenian point of view, it has uh, evolved and moved forward quite significantly. And it, it made the difference. It made a difference even though the circumstances were never favorable, mm. you know, and we always have to struggle with this um, uh, very primitive way of looking at what type setting is and what uh, types are for in the first place. But Granshan uh, is the flagship of the change. Uh, I would call it that with confidence because I know for a fact that it's changed a lot. Uh, in that sense here. That's uh, great, <laughs> great yeah, to hear. I mean, yeah. in a way, that was the mission yeah. of, of Grandchen to really support uh, and the variety, the diversity. Mm -hmm. And n now looking at uh, the streets and kind of uh, seeing the um, yeah variety of, of type, mm -hmm. would you also say that there is a kind of a new generation of, of type designers of perhaps even calligraphers since that is your focus your your true passion well the change is 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 coming whether you want it or not because the new generation is uh, the generations just keep coming so mm. you know we're getting older they are getting younger so <laughs> uh, with them of course comes uh, a fresh perspective uh, on what type design is um, but still um, I think we're uh, um, not in the right place yet because we don't have any educational uh, right. program uh, we're working on it it's gonna take some time but uh, the plan is there so the plan is to teach methodically a type type design and calligraphy start with the you know BA in uh, not speci not like in reading mm -hmm. when everything is focused on type design yeah, but seeing that type design as part of as the part visual as an, culture. As an asset as a tool yeah yeah to, so to uh, eventually that when that program program becomes a reality then we can confidently say that we're on the right track so eventually that program will produce uh, typeface designers maybe uh, they will work as typeface designers in the future but you know, more like multidisciplinary um, designers that can work in different fields, yeah. uh, but always treat type typefaces with respect. With respect, uh, yeah, yeah, for yeah. for the kind of cultural uh, development as well. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's a part. Uh, type design or typography is very much a part of culture of the progress and uh, also expression of what's going on within the society yeah yeah well um i i don't remember who somebody i think one of the german great designers said that uh, i will remember his name they said that the type type typefaces are the best indicator of the spiritual development mm -hmm. of the nation uh it's it's very true uh, because it is about spirit uh, because what are the types that ty ty typefaces are for it's to express human thought in graphic yeah. form right mm -hmm. so the exactly. complexity of a human thought uh, well-deserved thoughts deserve well-designed letters right so it's always like that so we especially in case of Armenia is is, is important yeah because we have unique alphabet yeah it's very particular I mean in that sense Armenia is uh, very valuable in that and, and such a identity making yeah that's identity <laughs> making <laughs> for you yeah parkal ni anjates yerashtutsuna shnakalem mek baneng zaina grumeli okay. but this is actually really nice that that kind of interaction yeah, it it's happens a, a lot <laughs> in Armenia. I have the feeling that people really like to communicate. Well, I have and to tell very, you. <laughs> no, I know, but but it's something that 
I don't know, in Germany would not really happen no? in, in such a natural way, you know. And of course, it also uh, depends on the person, yeah. obviously. But yeah, I had we're the more, feeling we're, we go with the flow more maybe than <laughs> the Germans. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, they, uh, there's uh, like we were saying, there's a new generation of type designers. Where are they? But there's no proper program here. Where are they formed? Are they coming from the outside? Is it some uh, self-made, uh, self-taught? Uh, I think it's a little bit of both, uh, because you know yourself, right? You were in the beginning when you started. <laughs> it wasn't the type design that no, was no. in the center, right? So eventually, you realize that your love for letters is overwhelming mm -hmm. right so it took you in that direction yeah, 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 yeah. it's basically the same thing is happening with this uh, kids i don't know if i can sh call them kids <laughs> but yes well uh, from <laughs> young <where> adults <laughs> yeah from where i am there are kids so the good thing that they experiment the good thing that they push uh, the boundaries of what letter armenian letter can yeah. because we always like look at it in a very uh, maybe in some orthodox way because it's sort of sacred for us like a sacred cow yeah, like there's only this you cannot do this with Armenian yes, letters yes, yeah. right I, I they do that. Uh, they don't have those uh, taboos anymore mm. uh, and I see a lot of surprising and fresh stuff it's still not typeface design but it's still it's an experiment that mm -hmm. will lead to a typeface yeah. design so hopefully um, once uh, we put this on a rails of, of proper you know, um, like a, you grow a tree yeah? from roots up, you mm. feed it the right information. That's why educational program yeah, is so, so, so important. You can't, uh, it, can't ca it can also develop sporadically and chaotically, but it's never mm. the right way, yes, I think. To give it this kind of professionalism. Yeah, 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 no? yeah, yeah, and yeah, also, yeah. but of course, with, um, mm, for, for type design to flourish, you also need the industry or you also need the appreciation uh, from designers here who would then use typeface, who would yeah. actually pay for it. Yeah, yeah, so how, yeah. how do you see that? Is there a development towards that? This I think it's so interesting because you see uh, uh, you and the, those people that have been doing this for such a long time understand that it's always a part of this big mosaic. Mm. It's, not, it's not just a branch of a tree that grows on its own. It's changing the environment, yeah. it's influenced by environment, but it also dictates to the environment a yeah, specific yeah. visual language, right? So in that sense, we are still a little bit like Babylon when we're not so sure, you know, should it be classical or should it be totally free and uh, uninhibited and, you know, be just uh, uh, expressive. So we are in, uh, always working on this type tight rope mm. uh, what to do with tradition that tells us it should be this mm. way but we realize that tradition will expire unless you feed it new you give it new right. life and yeah. you can actually look at it from a fresh perspective so um, but we we both of us know that uh, it's part of a bigger picture mm. that big picture is visual culture now what is your visual culture like when you travel in Europe, you see everything is regulated, like Germany and Spain. And it doesn't matter where you go. Even mm -hmm. Slovenia is mm -hmm. regulating mm -hmm. uh, visual environment. We're not yet there. Uh, and that's why we, maybe it's a good thing on one end, because you have freedom yeah, to do things. Flexibility but perhaps, I don't yeah. think we need freedom right now. I think mm -hmm. we need regulation that will set standards mm -hmm. and then we'll let go of the standards mm -hmm. and let experiment take over but, but yeah. yeah but in a way there are these standards from the old guard let's say and there's this yeah constant um let's say a bit of a fight between the eastern and the western yeah, yeah. attitude yeah. towards uh, what is the right expression of letters and I noticed um, talking with people who, just normal people who would say, oh yeah, our alphabet is so special because it did not change since millennia. Mm -hmm. And, but I wonder, is that really the right, you know, approach to, to the alphabet? Um, what what Look, do you think? Uh, I mean, how to, how to surpass this uh, divide? Mm -hmm. what, what, what do you think? I think, I think, uh, uh, Armenian alphabet in many sense was this constant uh, axiomatic 
sort of thing that uh, you're right, it never changed. It, cha it didn't change since Mashtots had mm. devised it uh, in 405. So um, in that sense, it's always been a pillar of culture on which mm. you can mm. lean on at the moments of uncertainty and uh, yeah. when you go through a crisis. Mm. Um, and in that sense, I think it should remain uh, a constant uh, thing. It needs to be treated with respect. That is, you know, one thing is, of course, it depends on the usage, right? So we are right now recording this in yeah. front of Mount Anadaran, which is a, you know, a temple of, of tradition. Of yes, yeah. And the letters that are carved are classical Armenian mm. letters and you would mm. never put anything else, right? Mm. That's the sure. right of treatment course. for of this course. setting. But the world is, you know, is changing all the time and the environment is changing and our, we travel much more than yeah. we traveled before. Mm. We see new stuff. Mm. We want to bring that new uh, exchange of ideas mm. and bring, you know, stuff that's still missing here. Mm. A lot of stuff still missing here. But uh, we, I, I wish it was done in an intelligent way. I wish mm. it was done in a sensitive way. And I, I'm all for uh, classic. I'm a, I'm a, the classics are my favorites, and uh, I'm all for it. Um, I don't at all um, cancel um, experiment. I think it's vitally important for progress. Uh, but you need to be. Um, intelligent in the way mm. you do it and, and sensitive, you know not yeah you script. understand that yeah. there are implications mm, mm, yeah. you know it's like a, uh, you s uh, throw a rock in a in a water there will be waves yeah so consider those waves how far will they go what will it change uh, is it like if you always use this uh, basic very simple attitude is it good for your culture or is it more damaging to your culture mm -hmm. just put it on weights see does, is it gonna, if I do this, the consequences, yeah. will these waves be good or they will be more destructive? Uh, if you look at it from that point of view, you might sort of like, okay, so you put things in perspective, you realize that, you know, maybe uh, you should do it this, yeah. this way. Yeah. This week, Grenchen came here also, not just to, to study Armenia again, but um, to give Eddie Kherosian, the, the, the founder of Grenchen, really of this project, a lifetime honor medal for his work because he stepped down. Mm. And he, yes, is from this, this uh, generation that uh, has certain views on the alphabet. And so what, what, is your, what do you think about Eric or what, what yeah. would you like to... I think his contribution to, uh, to Armenian typeface design is immense. I don't think anybody living from living yeah. people, right? We had people who were doing this before, but they're long gone. So from living designers, I think the contribution of Eric uh, surpasses anybody else. Uh, he's been so dedicated and so committed. Yeah. Um, he worked on it very methodically, and still working on it methodically. And he still publishes typefaces uh, quite frequently, which is which makes me very happy. Um, I, uh, I, I I cherish him as a friend, and I respect him a lot. And he introduced me to Boris. He introduced me to uh, to Goranishan project. And without him, I would never be part of it. Um, I think he deserved that recognition <laughs> and he, uh, I'm very happy that he, he, he got what uh, he got this, uh, you know, he, we needed to do that and uh, he absolutely deserves it. I wish him only health and happiness. I know one of the reasons why he, you know, he stepped down yeah. was because he felt tired and uh, mm. it's natural in, uh, because, uh, of because of his age. But look, he's still working and yeah, he's still he's, doing what yes. he's doing and he's still committed. So, uh, and he's teaching too, uh, which is also very, very important. So I only wish Eric uh, happiness and health and I, and I hope to see more beautiful stuff coming from him. Great. Thank you so much, Ruben. Thank you, Veronica. It's lovely talking uh, yes, to you. Yes, likewise. <laughs> Hopefully not, not the last time. No, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure not. <laughs> Great.